What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today is going to be another sit down video. I have got my tea ready and I'm going to talk about my training. So how I mix my training as a cross lifter. Uh, so before we go into that actually, you've got some something exciting came in uh, to the gym today. Uh, my my uh, 100,000 plaque, which is pretty cool because um, this is something that I never thought I would actually have. So um, I'd like to thank my mom. My, I'm uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is something I, I thought that I would never have because I just thought 100,000 was ridiculous um, for someone like me to, to get um, on YouTube. So this is pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do is take down one of these uh, things off the wall and hang this up so whenever someone walks into the gym they see it <laughs> no but seriously um yeah thank you all for subscribing thank you all for watching uh it's it's just awesome you know and it means a lot uh secondly gymshark is having a huge huge summer sale in on monday the 3rd of june from 3 p.m so um, I'm gonna put my link up. Uh, so if you guys wanna use my link, I would be absolutely grateful for that. It supports myself. Um, I do get commission, so I'm gonna be 100% open with you guys. Um, I do this on Instagram as well. So I do get commission every time you use my link. Um, it's also for Gymshark as my sponsor to see that you guys are actually using my link. So if you do that, I'll be absolutely uh, grateful. Uh, but you don't have to as well uh, but I'm just letting you guys know that they are having a huge sale 3 p.m. June the 3rd now if you know if you've ever experienced a Gymshark sale you know that they sell out pretty quickly so um, I'm probably gonna put top picks that I like so a lot of the stuff that I wear in my videos so tops like these as well I'm gonna put links to them so that all you have to do is just click directly onto it um, and get onto the Gymshark website so without further more rambling on we're going to get straight into the video so what i'm going to do is take you through day by day of what i do um in terms of my training uh compared to last year when i did this video um it's actually changed a lot the way i train the way i structure my training and which is why i get a lot of questions about you know how i do it and, you know how i set my timetable so for those of you that no, don't know which probably a lot of you do as a cross lifter i mix bodybuilding with crossfit now that's actually changed whereby um i mix bodybuilding crossfit and strength and conditioning which is more sports specific training so a lot of times if you look at strength and conditioning training it's um similar it's not what you would think as a conditioning metcom workout so you know you've got metabolic conditioning it's not the same strength and conditioning is nowhere near the same as a metcon so with my training now i do you know bodybuilding training i do metabolic conditioning i do some gymnastics <laughs> uh, i do a lot of mobility some loads of functional functional training uh, i know a lot of people have issue with that word uh functional training i do a lot of uh strength and conditioning now because I absolutely love that style of training and I wish I'd done it a while ago. You know, I was never into sport, so um, I never got the chance to do some some SNC training. And I started doing them last year. You guys saw that video with David, he used to play rugby and I absolutely love that. So this year I'm doing a lot more of um, strength and conditioning work. I'm gonna do a lot more track work as well because I hate running, but I love sprints. So I'm gonna try and mix that up as well. So. I'm going to take you through a day by day um, training schedule of what I do and also I'm going to you know give you guys some advice who are into bodybuilding by trying to incorporate some CrossFit style Metcons into your training or some CrossFit style training um, some CrossFit style workouts into your training and also for you CrossFitters out there who want to do some bodybuilding I'll give you some tips as well on how you can go about doing that as well on Monday I usually do quite a long series of workouts on Mondays. So um, I've got three different workouts. Actually this Monday I did three different workouts and they all vary. So the first workout, um, obviously after warming up and 
doing some mobs. So the first workout, for example, Monday um, was a quick one. So it was thrusters and death jobs to pull ups, so burpees to pull ups, uh, which is 21.59. I have the clip of that, so I'm gonna try and put the clip as I'm explaining this. So that was the first workout, and I usually would rest for about, that I would rest for about five minutes because the second one is the one that hurts. Um, the second one is a long workout, so that will be part two. So the second, it was 50, 30, 10. So 50 wall balls, 50 double unders, 50 push press, 50 uh, box jump overs, and 50 uh, steps walking lunges. And then after that, you will go down to 30 reps and do 30 of each, and then 10 of each to finish. And that was a slug of a workout. Now, I'm not taking any caffeine or pre-workout. <sighs> Day eight. So uh, this week has been long. If you follow me on Instagram, you've been seeing all the memes I've been putting up. Yeah, it's been a long week. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that was, that's workout two. And then I didn't have that much energy. So what I did, I changed workout three. So workout three was just working on my weaknesses. So I did some handstand practice, uh, some handstand accessory work. So yeah, and that is pretty much Monday so usually it's as you can see it's a long um, session uh, a lot of people ask me this how long I spend in the gym it can be an hour and a half it can be two now remember I film a lot of my workouts so some workouts I can film as I train which is great sometimes I can't do that so a workout that should take me an hour 10 15 minutes will probably take me an hour 40 minutes because I'm having to film afterwards as well which um, I'm not complaining about, it's my job. So when everyone says to me, you know, you're in the gym for so long, well, yeah, it's, it's my job. I have nowhere else to go or to be. I'm in the gym maximum three hours. A lot of that isn't training. A lot of that is training and filming content. And that's my office hours. I mean, I'm not exactly going to complain about that. So um, just bear that in mind, when, whenever we film content, um, especially for YouTube, the workouts can be quite long, but when you actually do them on your own, it's not as long. So sometimes it's hard for us to say to you, oh, this will take this set amount of time um, because when we film, it just takes slightly longer. So on Tuesday, uh, it's bodybuilding, a Metcon session and finished with some mobility. Uh, with bodybuilding, I will do push and pull. So I've changed slightly uh, when it comes to bodybuilding training. Um, in the past, I would do shoulders, chest, arms, legs separately. Um, but now I will do push pull, uh, legs and push pull again uh, because we have a lot of um, conditioning, uh, CrossFit workouts and strength and conditioning workouts. I'm pretty much doing a full body workout. Um, six days a week to be honest so um i don't just focus on one muscle group plus i don't have time to do that anymore and um so i would do some uh push pull on on that session for about uh i would say an hour and then my conditioning workouts it I, again it varies it's not always the same so it could be a barbell complex uh workout it could be an EMOM, it could be an AMRAP, it could be a 10 minute, quick 10 minute, um, or seven minute even, uh, Metcon. So it all varies. Uh, so some of those terms, a lot of CrossFitters will know, but some of you who aren't into CrossFit might not know, so I will try and put an explanation of what those are. Um, so yeah, the Metcon varies. So metabolic conditioning doesn't have to be long. It can be as short as you want, it can be as long as you want. And this is what I always say to people. So if you're trying to incorporate some metabolic conditioning into your workouts and you train in a commercial gym or you do bodybuilding predominantly, um, it can be 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be a long uh, Metcon session. You can get a, some kettlebells, some dumbbells and a jump rope and that's enough. So just have that in mind. It doesn't have to be a long um, conditioning workout and then finish with some mobility at the end so usually it will be about a 10 to 15 um, mobility I'm having issues with my shoulders at the moment so um, I'm doing a lot of sh uh, shoulder mobs um, a lot of mobs on my knee as well my right knee uh, but it's it's not 
it's just slight niggles here and there that uh, just won't go away. So I'm doing a lot of mobility on that. And actually this week, I'm not doing a lot of heavy lifting because last week my body was just like, I need a break and I listened. So um, I've taken it slightly easy this week. So Wednesday, it's uh, so S and C training, so strength and conditioning. Um, I posted one on my Instagram actually. Um, I absolutely love that type of training. Strength and conditioning is what a lot of um, athletes, so you know, rugby players, American footballers, basketball players even train like. So it's very sport specific, but I, I enjoy it even though I don't do a sport. Um, I remember I put on Instagram that I wish I did a sport now because I absolutely love training like that and I would have loved to be in a sport but um, you know the way my laziness was set up when I was a teenager that was never going to happen but um, I'm happy that I'm doing it now you know better late than never and I absolutely love training like that and usually that session will take me about an hour 20 minutes uh, it's weird because I have a fitness tracker and because strength and conditioning work you do have breaks compared to a, met a metabolic conditioning training and actually because there's a lot of explosive plyometric and heavy lifting you'd be surprised how much calories you can burn through a strength and conditioning session uh, it, it's actually one of those things that surprised me so um, I'm definitely going to keep doing them so I'll do those at least once a week now and then in the afternoon so that would be in the morning and in the afternoon I would do some fitness slash endurance work which is a lot of um, cardiovascular training so I'm talking you know maybe a 30 minute EMOM on the devil bike ski erg and the rower um, or it could just be devil bike and burpees for 30 minutes uh, EMOM or thousand you know, a thousand meters on the bike as quick as you can, a thousand on the ski erg, a thousand on the rower, keep going for eight rounds, um, things like that. It's just to get my fitness and my endurance up because that is the one thing I lack as a bigger guy. So I'm trying to work on that. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering if I do train twice a week compared to the lot uh, twice a day, sorry, twice a week, compared to last year, which I was doing a lot, this year I don't do that anymore. Um, it was just too much on my body. So I've scaled it down to, I probably do two sessions a day, twice a week, if that. So actually I'll, I'll do three times a week sometimes, but that one of them is mobility. So I'll go in the gym and just do purely mobility as my second session. So I've, this the, the way I train now is a lot on my body, especially being a bigger guy. So um, I've had to scale down training twice um, a day. I just didn't need it and it was just way too much. So um, this time I'm finding it more manageable uh, in terms of doing one session a day and then you know twice a week, I will do two sessions. So on Thursday, it's two sessions again. So I do Ollie lifts in the morning uh, with some Metcons to finish and then in the afternoon, I would do some bodybuilding work and focus on legs. Sometimes I actually swap that around. So sometimes I would do some bodybuilding in the morning. Um, I'll do my legs in the morning and I'll do some Olympic lifting in the afternoon because I find it easier to do Olympic lifting in the afternoon. I don't know why, my body's just more alert. Now I don't do as much Olympic lifting as I would like, um, purely because of my shoulders. Um, they, they are just not happy at the moment. So I've scaled it down a bit. Um, it was a bruise to my ego because I was hoping to be so far ahead, but I've realized that I'm doing this for fun. I want to be able to train for a long time, so I need to slow it down. Um, so this week was uh, every two minutes, uh, one power snatch. And it's just working on my techniques uh, because that, again, because I haven't been doing a lot of snatches, it's been, it's been um, hard. Let's just say that. So I had Coach David, um, who's the owner of this gym, uh, train me, um, watch over me as I was doing that. And then I finished with some Metcon um, at the end. So the bodybuilding session was mostly legs um, again. And uh, yeah, and usually I would finish with maybe a, a quick 10 minute uh, finisher on my legs. So usually it's always a bike, it would always be bike, maybe some kettlebell swings and this week it was 
leg only bike so no holding onto the handle so um 50 air squats and 20 kettlebell swings times four as quick as you can and that was just to finish off my legs and i love doing things like that so if you again um if you follow me on instagram you you see a lot of these workouts and that is pretty much what i have structured when i do my cross lifter training program which i do have at the moment so i've, I've got volume one and two for conventional gyms and i have a crossfit uh, box version as well so a lot of the a lot of you guys on my cross lifter plan know about the bye bye leg finishes <laughs> So on Friday will be active recovery, which is pretty much uh, always aerobic based exercise. So you're not, the aim is to get your heart rate up, but not to actually destroy yourself. Um, it actually helps with recovery from all the heavy training from the week. So I would do a lot of endurance stuff. So uh, EMOMS is always great on active recovery. This week I'm doing uh, a 30 minute EMOM on the devil bike, the ski erg, and some down ups, which is just burpees without the clapping at the top. And then Saturday would usually be my day off. Saturday's my editing day. So I, um, I like to edit on Saturday. Um, and usually that's when I'm not training at the gym. And then I edit, I wake up in the morning pretty early, do some editing and then I go and hang out with my friends after that. So I like to try and be as active as possible outside of the house on my rest day. I know that sounds weird, but I find that when I'm, when it's my rest day and I'm in the house, I would just eat and eat and eat and eat. Like I think about food nonstop on rest day. It was so weird because I never do that on the other, uh, on days that I'm training when I'm more active. But I just find that because I'm in the house, there's just food everywhere. So I like to have my rest day on uh, a weekend just because all your mates aren't working, then you can all go and hang out and you can do stuff. And um, I'm not, you know, in the house, con I'm not in the house in a, all day on a week, like on a weekday, because I work from home um, and just thinking about food. That is my rest day. So I do have, I do do other things apart from just training but i love training so i mean i'm not complaining if i could train seven days a week i would but um yeah my body's not my body's not gonna be happy about that <laughs> sundays usually will be another bodybuilding session push pull session and then i usually finish with a metcon and then i have a long mobility session so with with sundays i do all three in one session i don't have two sessions in that day so all of that usually sundays is a long one but for me sunday is all about training and then kind of doing my long mobility session afterwards so usually it will be about 30 minute mobility so i probably will be in the gym for about two two and a half hours on a sunday because the rest of that is me watching anime, eating loads of popcorn mixed with ice cream. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know about that. I, I mix popcorn with ice cream because I'm weird. And um, that's, that's my me time. Me, that's time for me to just chill and do absolutely nothing after training. Because I know that Monday to Saturday, again, it's going to be go, go, go. So I always try and find one day in the week for myself as an introvert i love my own company i like being by myself so i would chill i would watch some anime on netflix and you know i'm currently watching uh backy part two on netflix and one punch man as well um that one punch man 2 that isn't out yet on netflix so a lot of people have been asking me about that it's not i watch it on a website I just finished uh, Boardwalk Empire as well, which is an absolutely amazing TV show, which I slept on, which is on HBO. Um, it's an old TV show, but uh, I, I'm actually annoyed that I didn't watch that a long time ago. But I finished the whole five seasons in about a week. It was that good. So um, yeah, so on Sundays I would train, do some mobility and then just chill and literally not move for the whole, for the rest of the day. 
so yeah that is pretty much my week um it is again like i said completely different to what i would do last year last year i was doing a lot more but i realized that um i was just putting my body through too much so this year for me it's all about having fun enjoying my training and with doing strength and conditioning work now um it's so different and i absolutely love it so my passion for training is sky high at the moment and i'm absolutely loving every minute of it and um you know i am just enjoying myself and i'm pretty sure it comes across when you guys watch my videos so um the one thing that i would say is if you're trying to incorporate some cross to style metcons into your training is start small you know start with a lot of words that are too complicated so things like um helen is quite good or cindy uh, if you don't know what they are i'll write it um up on the video as i'm explaining it and um also try and learn something that you're not very good at or you have never done so if you try to if you're trying to learn some gymnastics maybe do some handstands allow yourself 10 minutes to practice some handstands practice some handstand push-ups um with but if you finish your bodybuilding training give yourself maybe 15 minutes to 15 minutes to do some metcons so maybe shorten your bodybuilding session a bit and then start doing some uh metcon training as well that is probably one of the biggest thing I would say is start very, very, very small. Don't go crazy like I did and start doing Olympic lifting, you know, metabolic conditioning and bodybuilding all at the same time. Pick a few things and start doing them until you get very good at them and then slowly start to, you know, maybe you start working on your conditioning and then move on to Olympic lifting and then do some gymnastics as well. But small steps take baby steps and in terms of crossfitters if you're trying to grow lean muscle mass if you're trying to get slightly bigger because remember bodybuilding is great accessory and assistance for a lot of olympic lifting and gymnastics um do one day a week where you purely do bodybuilding training and and i'm talking a, a good 40 minutes of bodybuilding training don't do bodybuilding for time that's silly don't do bodybuilding as an emom again I see people doing that and that is not how you are going to grow especially if you're trying to grow some lean muscle mass that's not going to work bodybuilding is it's 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 all about consistency quality not quantity in my opinion when it comes to um, bodybuilding training so try and structure once a week bodybuilding training at your local box during open gym that would be awesome if you can do that um so yeah this my that my best advice if you're into bodybuilding training and you're trying to get into some crossfit style workouts is don't go crazy start slowly go to cross there's loads of crossfit wads on the crossfit website um i have loads of um metcons on my uh channel and on my instagram that you can check out as well and then just slowly start adding those into your workouts and um yeah hopefully um you guys will start enjoying doing some crossfit workouts as well so I hope you found this video useful and gives you an idea into you know how I train. Um, yeah, I've been waffling on now, and uh, it's time for me to train with no caffeine, except for my green tea, uh, uh, which is cold. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That would be awesome because that helps me out, and I appreciate that so much. And if you haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.